Thank you for joining us for Sabbath School today. And we're studying the Gospel of Mark, and this is lesson number five, Miracles Around the Lake. Dear Lord, we see in the Bible many miracles where Jesus relieved the sufferings of people. And he's still in that business today. We pray for good news in this lesson. In Jesus' name, amen. We read that perfect love, which the original language is agape in the New Testament, works a miracle in every human heart where it finds residence. It casts out anxiety and fear. This is put clearly in 1 John 4, 17 and 18. Herein is our love made perfect, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment, because as he is, so are we in this world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casteth out fear, because fear hath torment. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. Beautiful statement. That statement is like a block of dynamite. It surely is. It's like a nuclear bomb. It blows all kinds of dust and cobwebs and confusion out of our minds. If you and I will let that special kind of agape love get into our hearts, the fear and anxiety that have shadowed us all of our lives will be driven away. Jesus is a good example of no fear. You remember, don't you, when his disciples were trying to keep their boat afloat on the Lake of Galilee. The night the terrible storm just swept in and the waves overwhelmed them and threatened to drown them all. They were actually terrified, for they cried out, Lord, save us, we perish. Mark 4.38 But Jesus was calm, unafraid. We read that he arose and he rebuked the wind and he said unto the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. And he said unto them, Why are you so fearful? How is it that ye have no faith? Wow! When you're facing death as you are about to be drowned, isn't it wrong, is it wrong to be fearful? Jesus told them, Yes. Why? Well, the reason is that he was on board with them. And it's a sin to be afraid when you have Jesus on board. Do you have Jesus on board in your little ship, in your life? He won't force himself on a board, but if you invite him, he will join you, even if you are sinful and unworthy. He tells us he came to save sinners, not the righteous. Have confidence in Jesus. Learn that lesson. Let the fear go. O oh, Father in heaven, daily we sometimes operate on fear. Let's invite Jesus into our hearts. Peace be still, he says. In his name, amen.